Hey guys, Quest for Vape, Daryl Shergan over here doing another review video. Uh, this one is long overdue and I apologize. The manufacturers of this RDA, which is the 360 RDA, uh, Avkin, the same manufacturers that make the Mad Hatter that sent me this shirt, they sent me this RDA. I did the Mad Hatter review. I was very excited about the Mad Hatter. I was also excited about this RDA and um, unfortunately uh, right after I did that one, uh, Mad had a review, I went to Miami, I was, uh, <laughs> brought it with me, vaping on it the whole time down to Miami for the World Vapor Expo, my road trip, my quest for vape thing, um, and the whole time I was driving down there, driving back, uh, I always intended to grab a couple of minutes and do a review, and I never got a chance to, so the truth is I've been vaping on this for a good three weeks now. And then right, right, right after getting back from the Vape Expo, there was another expo out in Pittsburgh, um, like a week and a half after that. So, I never got a chance to sit down. Now I'm catching up, and, um, and it really does merit a review, so I'm going to do that. So let me just talk about unboxing it. It comes in this nice uh, tin, packaged very nicely in foam. So well protected in transit comes with some nice tools very similar if you watch my Mad Hatter RDA video it comes with this nice thick microfiber cloth it has the logo on it you can't really see it but the logos on there and um, and it comes with replacement o-rings yeah there's o-rings on here um, these o-rings as well as on the top cap so there's one o-ring there and two on the base of the RDA this is different. It's it's a you know I have it built right now, so I'm going to take out my cotton so you can see it. Uh, it its name 360 RDA is because of these nice air holes, of which I believe there are six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six are six air holes, equally spaced, so it has airflow from every direction. I line up one with each coil. I will say this is a very hard-hitting RDA, and there's a couple of reasons why I'll get into in a minute, but uh, the top cap is one piece. It doesn't have a separate drip tip. Um, I wonder, I don't think it's 510 style. No, it has its own top cap drip tip in one, so you're kind of uh, kind of stuck with that, and it does get a little bit hot, I will say that, because it's, it's metal, and it's part of the whole RDA does get hot. So, let's look at this for a moment. Aside from this airflow sleeve, the top cap has these, uh, let's call them crenellations. Okay? It kind of reminds me of the parapet of like a medieval castle. But each one of those lines up. Do you see those half moon crescents? They line up with the air holes. So there is actually airflow control there. You can adjust that airflow if you wanted to cut some of it off. Like half of the, actually it closes it all off completely. And I'm not diving down close, I'm sitting here at Fluid Vape Shop in Bohemia, New York, in Long Island, um, upstairs in their lounge doing this video. Um, more talking about the experience of vaping on this than going into the, the dive down details. But yeah, so it does have, you can close off those air, air holes just by twisting the top cap. It is numbered. Mine is number 0744, so anybody with a higher number than that, be envious. <laughs> uh, it's a hard-hitting RDA. I have it on my copper continuous current uh, Manhattan V2 hard-hitting mod with a hard-hitting RDA because there's a copper center post, and it's a split center post a la um, mutation, style, uh, plume veil style, I'll show you. So it's a nice easy RDA to build on, it's a nice big easy deck to build on. It doesn't have the deepest juice well in the world, but it's decent. It is decent. Um, let me just swab this out a little bit. Sorry, I didn't prepare for this video. I just, hey, I'll just, I just hit record and go. It's my style. Uh, the more the experience of vaping than the than the little minute details 
for those who like the little minute details. There's got to be somebody else on YouTube has done a micro dive down deep. I happen to have a flavor build on here for no significant reason other than I wanted a nice twisted wire flavor build. But now you can see the it's got a nice big wide uh, juice well. Not as deep as some, deeper than others. I would say about as deep as the tugboat. Maybe just slightly shallower than the tugboat. But you see that copper center post with split with two holes, so it's an easy build. And, uh, and that copper center post is hard hitting. It really is. So I'm going to pull this off to show you the bottom of the 510 connection. That's the bottom of the center post pin. So it's very hard hitting. I, I love this RDA. I've been using it for probably close to, actually over a month. Uh, middle of May I got this, so we're in the middle of June. I've had it for over a month. Sorry, Avkin. Uh, I should have got this done sooner. I apologize. Um, but there you go, 360 RDA, easy to build on, great, great RDA. I'm just pulsing my twisted coils there. There's, there's nothing in the way of, of uh, heat distribution or heat dispersion on this. Heat fins might be nice. If you find it's getting a little hot, you may want to put one of those Vulcan style heat sinks uh, on the base first. Screw that in to your, uh, to your mod. But so far so good. I love vaping on it. It's a great hard hitting RDA. Enjoy it. Now I'm going to pause that video and then I'll come back and vape on it. Okay guys, I'm back. I have re-wicked my cotton. And I'm putting a fresh battery in. Samsung 25R. Good quality batteries. It's important. Daily new. Nice, clean. The wraps are all perfect. Okay, anyway, we're talking about we're talking about the 360 RDA. Let me go ahead and juice this up, vape on it, talk to you a little bit about the pros and cons, what I think it's, uh, is its niche in the marketplace. And um, this is, by the way, Kilo Kaiberry Yogurt. It's uh, Kiwi Strawberry Yogurt. It's their new flavor that they just released a couple of weeks ago. And it is super yummy. Just the right amount of sweet from the strawberry, tart from the kiwi, and that yogurt, just creamy and tart Greek yogurt. It's really yummy. I'm using a twisted build right here, dual. Uh, I don't know, I think it's 26 and 26 twisted. It's for flavor, not cloud chasing. And that's on a uh, copper continuous current Manhattan V2 clone, believe it or not. 45 bucks for this at the uh, Miami World Vape Expo. And it's interchangeable one-to-one -one with the parts from my authentic aluminum uh, continuous current V2. But anyway, so this is a hard-hitting RDA. For its price, it's a good value. It's rugged, it's durable. I've been vaping on it for a month now. I've rebuilt this probably seven to ten times. It can take some pretty good uh, thick low gauged wire uh, if you should desire to do that and it handles the builds well. I've done as low as 0.1 uh, sub ohm builds on here, handles it. And um, you know what? The screws are nice and chunky. They're good solid stainless steel. Um, they didn't strip, they're still grabbing nicely in the posts, uh, and that's with some pretty low gauge wire. So that's that. Comes with some nice parts, comes with extra screws, comes with extra O rings, comes with 
the obligatory blue screwdriver. It came with even with uh, a set of pre-built coils, like that's 24 gauge, maybe 10 wrap coils, which I haven't used, but they're nice. I use them very similar on the uh, the Mad Hatter came with the same set of of uh, spare parts, and I used those coils, and they were decent. So you got pre-built coils, you don't even have to wrap, you just stick them in the RDA. So this RDA, I feel, is very, very good for a beginner or intermediate vapor. It's not going to win cloud competitions. Why? Because it's up against stuff like the Kennedy. Um, it's up against $100, $120 RDAs. Even $60 RDAs are probably going to beat the snot out of this in the cloud competition. But for a beginner or an intermediate looking to stay in the price budget of around $25 to $35, bucks, give or take, I mean, I think you can get this online for somewhere around $25. Uh, that's, I might be wrong by a couple of bucks, but that's great for an authentic with, with quality design and manufacturing. Um, it's an easy build deck because it's got that split post. So, yeah, you can get a nice vape on this. You can do a lot of builds. It can handle rebuilding. I've got authentics that I've bought and, and, and have crapped out on me and stripped and, and, and fucked up. Uh, with less rebuilding than I've done on this authentic, um, you know, so that's that. All right, let's talk about negatives. It does get hot, and you don't have any choices or options for, uh, for your top cap or drip tip because they're one piece. So what you build, the heat from that is going right into this drip tip, and it's not a 510 size drip tip, so it's not like I could put something else on there if I wanted to. Um, that's it. You're stuck with that, and it does get hot. So if you don't like a hot... Uh, RDA hitting your your lips, then you know this might not be for you. The other the other drawback on this those air holes, while it's great in in design and intention, uh, the only air holes I care about are the ones right centered in front of the uh, the coils that are heating up. These other four air holes are lining up right with my cotton. So I've got two air holes on this side, two air holes on that side, right going into. I'm not really wanting to draw air into wet cotton I want to draw air past the coils so what ends up happening is as on my inhale I'm drawing in uh, some moist unatomized uh, juice and it does build up and splatter up uh, on the inhale and it does build up on the top cap significantly listen uh, in dripping you're gonna build up juice on the on the top cap but this just because it's pulling air through those those uh, moist ends of the cotton and I just did like that regular bow tie style through the through the coil and and down on either side into the deck but it's it's pulling air through an area in the RDA that I really don't want to pull air through if I can help it so maybe there's a different way I think I have a dead battery maybe there's a different way to rewick this that would utilize that 360 airflow better but you know, I'll have to play around with that I really didn't Experiment. Look at how nice the fluid. We got a nice rack over here. The battery charger. I charge some batteries while I'm sitting here doing this. Yeah, that one was low. That one was way low. No wonder it's not hitting as hard as it should. Okay, so those are the pros and cons. It's for it, but listen, is it is it a good value? Yeah, it's reasonably priced. Authentic RDA that can that can handle uh, rebuilding and and a pretty rugged build. And I think it's a good value for somebody in that price range. It stacks up very well against, let me compare, a Tobe RDA clone. Uh, the authentics are 80 to 100 bucks, but the clones are 20 to 30 bucks. So it stacks up nicely, or maybe even less than 20 if you buy it right. Uh, the Plume Veil, one of my first RDAs, clone. That was like 20, 25 bucks. This I would rather have this than a Plume Veil clone, a Tobe clone. A lot of the clones you see out there on the market that you can get in that same or close to a price. If I'm going to spend twenty dollars for a clone or twenty eight bucks for this, I'd rather spend twenty eight bucks get this. So that's its market, and that's its niche. It's going up against high end uh, RDAs whose clone is somewhere around 25 to 30 bucks, you get this instead, and that's a good value. I'm pretty sure that is what Afkin is going after, that market of in-between 
lowest of the low of clones, and mid-range 60 50 60 70 dollar uh, authentics. They're going for an authentic in the mid-range price. That's a quality RDA that, could, that, that you can utilize. And it's a, it is a workhorse. I, I took this on the road trip down to Miami, all through the expo and back. And you know what? At the same time, spending 25 to 30 bucks on an RDA that's an authentic and being able to feel a little bit of that competition hit because of that copper center post, uh, it really does give it a nice hit. Um, and it hits harder than the plume veil ever did. It hits harder than the tobe. It hits harder than the dark horse, I think. Yeah, not think, I know. So those are some of the first RDAs that I was playing around with when I first started building. Like I think the Doge had a copper center pin, uh, center post, and, um, and that was a very hard hitting RDA. I remember that. I was impressed with the fact, and it was a clone, but I was, I was, I was actually entering into really hard hitting cloud chasing territory in the beginning. So if you're a beginner to intermediate uh, dripper and you're, you're building and you want something that, that's functional and affordable, there you go. Uh, Avkin, if you're open and receptive to a new design, uh, I really don't know how these air holes, yeah, I, I, I don't know how you would change it, but I'm, I'm just going to, here's the problem, we're, we're drawing air through wet cotton that hasn't, that, with juice that hasn't been atomized yet, and parts of the RDA that, um, that we don't want, so that's that. One solution to that, give it a good purge. Oh, much better. So if you give it a good purge, a half second exhale out through the air holes, it, it knocks out all of that uncooked juice. And then on the inhale, the coils have heated up enough. Now you're getting more of the vaporized uh, juice. There we go. That's a solution. But um, there's the pros and the cons. An affordable RDA authentic that's, uh, that's hard hitting and quality manufacturing. Thank you very much, Afkin. And thanks, guys, for watching my channel.